if someone tries to to blow the whistle you find all sorts of methods that aren't the most you know just fire them you give them far too much work to do you steer them in a different direction one person who is intimately familiar with how suppression works offshore is former jersey senator and health minister stuart sivray in 2009 he leaked a report on a rogue nurse suspected of killing patients at Jersey's hospital. It all came to a head during a state's debate on Tuesday the 10th of March. Senator Stuart Sivray brought the sitting to a standstill, claiming Senator Jimmy Pershard had sworn at him and told him to go and top himself. Senator Pershard denied the claim, saying, I absolutely refute that. But less than a week later, he was forced to admit he had lied. Senator Pershard has now admitted that on another occasion, he did tell Senator Stuart Sivray to go and do everyone a favor and slit his wrists. I was uh, arrested at my house one morning uh, by uh, six plainclothes police officers. There were another two specialist data search police officers on hand and also another two police officers in full body armor of one of those battering rams they kind of use in drugs raids. So 10 uh, police officers descended on me without a, uh, without a search warrant. The property was turned over from top to bottom. All of the computers were seized and searched. All kinds of private constituency data was stolen by the police. Shortly after we began filming, a police officer exited the police station. As he hurried past, he grinned at the camera. The officer was on his way to test the sirens on his motorbike which he did at intervals throughout much of the remainder of the interview. When it came to prosecuting me... Stuart Sivray was prosecuted under the data protection law. Now, when the authorities were prosecuting me, I claimed that this was a legitimate public interest disclosure defence. And I, with an expert witness, was able to produce a set of reports that effectively destroyed the prosecution case. In reaction to this, the magistrates ruled that Stuart Sivray's defence case, that he had leaked the report in the public interest, would no longer be admissible, but continued to prosecute him all the same, without a defence case. Over the past seven years, Stuart Sivray has been repeatedly taken to court and imprisoned three times. He does not know when or if the persecution will end, nor does he know when he will find himself behind bars again. To look at Jersey from the outside, it looks like it's got a prosecution system, it looks like it's got a court and a legislature, but none of it's real. It's a Potemkin village. None of these systems in Jersey meet the tests of being objective, of being objective or actually functioning properly. The experience that Stuart Sivray had is, you know, it, He's perhaps at the, at the blunter end of the, of the, of the uh, scale. You know, he was simply suppressed and taken to court on trumped up charges. So carry on being, let's carry on pretending to do the interview. They might get bored. This is the kind of, this is the kind of how oppression happens in Jersey, you see. All kinds of little things get done to harass people, you know. Even, they don't often go to the kind of extremes that they did against me in terms of actually arresting me and putting me in prison, but uh, the authorities use all kinds of other lesser little methods to interfere with people, kind of sabotage things, you know, uh, obstruct people, make life difficult for people. You know, if you annoy the establishment in Jersey, you won't get a job here. You know, you, you know your children won't get decent jobs. You know, that's kind of how, how it works, you know.